watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller and this quick tip video is going to be on some basic motions functionality inside of SolidWorks. This basic motions functionality is included inside of all SolidWorks packages. It comes with the SolidWorks core, professional, and premium package. To begin with, before we really dive deeper into basic motions, let's just look at some physical dynamics motions that goes beyond collision detection or interference detection. So under the move command we have something over here called physical dynamics. If we turn on physical dynamics it doesn't really turn gravity on or anything but it lets me go in there and simulate if this ball was to bump into this other ball what would happen or if this ball was to hit these other balls really you know with more of an you know acceleration on there what's going to happen but all that's just been done by my mouse movement there's no physical motion put on that or there's not any gravity set so let's go beyond the physical dynamics capability and let's move into looking at using this sorting machine and simulating this sorting machine using the basic motions package First off, the motion study tab is down here. So if I go into it, it's generally on standard animation. And here's where I could go in and set gravity and also go in and put some contact conditions in so these balls just don't fall right through the chute, but they know they're in contact between here and this entire face coming down the chute. And they don't fall through the bottom, so they would see a bottom in there as well. So you've got to go turn that stuff on in order to simulate the real basic motion study of these balls going down the chute. So if I went and tried to turn that on right now, it'll tell me that I need to go in and turn the motions to basic motions. So in order to do that, I can just come down here to this tab and put it on the basic motion study. Again, everybody with SolidWorks has this capability. I'm going to go and expand my motion study tab, and I've got a, a three second motion study setup where I've gone in there and I've established all my contacts that's just clicking this button over here and clicking everything that you're gonna put into the contact area Let me take this basic motion back to the beginning and then the gravity and turning the gravity on again that's just this button over here and setting gravity to my Y my up and down position right here at 32 feet a second and from there all I really do is play the motions or calculate the motions and this one I've already calculated it so I should just be able to play and you'll see the balls go through the sorter and sort through the right box so that's just basic motion study turning on the gravity setting contact conditions and using our, our basic motion analysis program to simulate those balls going down the chute Pretty neat stuff. I hope you've enjoyed another quick tip video by Go Engineer.